Welcome to the lead. I'm Jake Tapper. We start with breaking news in the politics lead today. President Trump is finally unveiling what his White House calls a plan to revamp the immigration system. That plan coming more than two years into his presidency. And after years and years and years of talk on it, a tougher stance on immigration and undocumented immigrants being perhaps the defining and animating issue of the Trump campaign and the Trump presidency from day one. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. I am proud to shut down the government for border security. I could do the wall over a longer period of time. I didn't need to do this, but I'd rather do it much faster. President Trump assigned his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, a senior advisor to him, to come up with this plan, which Kushner presented to Republican senators last night after months of work. But according to CNN sources, some of these Republican senators were, quote, underwhelmed with the presentation and the policy. Let's go straight to CNN's Caitlin Collins at the White House. And Caitlin, what's not in this proposal might be just as notable as what is in it. Yeah, Jake, this is a plan that Jared Kushner has been working on for several months, and the White House is hoping it's going to be this comprehensive compromise that could actually get through Congress. But now the question is if Republicans are going to support it, let alone Democrats. We are calling on Congress to fix our terrible immigration laws. Stop Today, the White House police. finally making its immigration sales pitch. That can be changed in 20 minutes. 20 minutes if they want to change it. The Trump administration is hoping to overhaul the current U.S. immigration system and turn it into a merit-based one that prioritizes high-skilled workers, secures the southern border, and potentially generates an estimated $500 billion in net federal revenue. It's a proposal President Trump personally directed his son-in-law and senior advisor, Jared Kushner, to come up with. But officials who briefed reporters today said this is the president's proposal. They're pitching a merit-based point system for visas that would include a civics test and factor in age, ability to speak English, job offers, and education and skill levels. The White House says the new proposal draws from immigration systems in Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. But the plan doesn't address the massive influx of migrants at the southern border or other key concerns from lawmakers. There is no solution for DREAMers, the undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as children and shielded from deportation under DACA. There's no mention of family separations at the border. And it doesn't address low-skilled immigration or what will happen to the estimated 11 million undocumented immigrants currently living in the United States. The White House says solutions to those problems will come later. And right now, they are focusing on rallying the party. Republican lawmakers have publicly praised the plan, but privately, some are voicing skepticism. One senior Republican official who was in the room when Kushner briefed lawmakers this week said some were underwhelmed by the plan. But Senator Mitt Romney said it was a very positive step forward. What I'm trying to do is... Senator Lindsey uh, Graham, uh, an ally boss, of the president's who presented his own immigration so plan today, said Kushner's plan is not designed to become law, but his is. Now, Jake, the president is going to officially unveil this plan in a speech tomorrow. And right now, the White House says they're going to be open to any kind of feedback they're going to get from Capitol Hill. And based on what our sources are telling us, there's going to be a lot of it. All right, Caitlin Collins at the White House. Uh, let's uh, dive into this with my experts. Uh, Jeremy Diamond, let me start with you as, a, as another White House correspondent. You saw Republican Senator Lindsey Graham there say that the White House plan is not designed to become law. As I understand it, this isn't a plan written in any way that acknowledges that the Democrats control the House. This is more of a, a proclamation of what Trump stands for, right? That's right. And one of the words that we kept hearing from one of the senior administration officials who briefed us, us this afternoon was this is our attempt to frame the debate, to frame what our position as the White House, as Republicans, uh, is going forward on this issue. I mean, keep in mind, this administration for the past two years, and if you go back even to the president's campaign, President Trump is known as someone who has these draconian uh, immigration proposals, who is known for family separations, for that zero tolerance policy, right? And so this seems to be an attempt really to try and recast what this administration stands for on issues of immigration, or at least broaden the tent of what that is. It's not just secure the border. It's not just uh, these hardline policies designed to curb illegal immigration. It's also an attempt to increase uh, legal uh, immigration, something that the president hasn't spent too much time on. Now, the question is, 
what happens now. The president is expected to give a speech tomorrow discussing this. But when he's off teleprompter, what's he going to be talking about? Is he still going to be focusing on undocumented immigrants? Is he still going to be focusing on criminals coming across the border? I think that's the big question going forward. And, and Jackie, a senior administration official tells CNN this immigration plan intentionally does not address DACA, the program that defers deportation uh, for young immigrants who are brought to the U.S. Um, illegally by their parents through, through no fault of their own. Um, what kind of plan, what kind of immigration plan doesn't even talk about DACA, which is like one of the big issues in immigration? I mean, one that's DOA. Uh, you know, I'm <laughs> old enough to remember uh, la all the way back last year during the four pillars debate, uh, with uh, when the White House sent their four pillars to the Hill and they Republicans put together legislation that went down in flames in part because they couldn't get backing from Trump. So it, the Republicans are divided on immigration. The president hasn't really addressed that. Uh, so it, it just there's nothing for Democrats really to jump on board with you know what we've seen so far on this and you know we also are going into 2020 election year i just have a hard time thinking that this is going to be at grams or otherwise i uh, get any traction whatsoever you know lindsey graham amanda carpenter lindsey graham in the past has worked on big bipartisan immigration compromises today he introduced his own legislation to change the asylum process his plan uh, would have immigrants needing to apply at a consulate or embassy in their home country instead of uh, going uh, into the United States and declaring asylum at the southern border. Graham's plan would increase the time that migrant children could stay in custody from 20 to 100 days in custody. Graham wants to make it easier for officials to deport unaccompanied minors. This is really more of a Trump asylum plan than, than at least the Lindsey Graham that we've known in the past. Yeah, I mean, I actually think Lindsey Graham's proposed reforms actually do something to address the crisis. But what Jared Kushner is working on, like, who are you trying to fool? The raging debate over immigration has not been over the visa point system. It's been about securing the border, number one. And then number two, what are you going to do with the people there? And Jared Kushner is sticking his head in the sand and looking like, oh, we're doing something but not actually doing it. That is a joke. If you're not going to do anything on those two matters, just forget it and do the Lindsey Graham plan because there is a burgeoning immigration crisis, record number of people coming, uh, breaking records almost every day. You have Border Patrol saying we can't handle these numbers. So, you know, I give props to Lindsey Graham for actually trying to focus in on that. But what Jared Kushner are doing is going to get flushed down the toilet by talk radio in about two seconds, and they should just quit wasting their time. And Jen Psaki, as somebody who worked in the Obama White House on this issue, uh, what the Kushner approach is, is instead of, uh, I think this is from talking to senior White House officials, that instead of trying to cobble together things that one side likes but the other side doesn't and vice versa and coming up with a compromise that everyone can attack, uh, they're coming together with their principles of what the president wants. Uh, might this new approach work? Well, it depends on what you're trying to accomplish with it. Uh, I think there's no question it's a political document. They're not the first White House to do that. Uh, <laughs> but it is uh, not a document that will get any Democratic support. I expect most Democrats, when they see this proposal, will say uh, not just that they can't support it, but that it's heartless and discriminatory because the visa point system suggesting that things like age and English proficiency are requirements are not aligned with uh, who we are as a country and our values. And I expect that's what Democrats will say. So if it is meant to uh, try to uh, show the base that they have a border bill or that they have a border security bill or have that talking point and maybe try to get some Republicans behind it, it might accomplish that. But certainly it's not something, uh, as you've said, that is meant to uh, pass law or pass muster, even as Amanda said.